Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in this video um, we're going to be creating this dynamic theme selector using uh, HTML, CSS and JavaScript and also a bit of PHP for some server-side demonstration of actually persisting or um, having the ability to actually save your theme. Okay, so by dynamic I mean essentially if I was to go down here I can choose what theme I want for the web page. So for example, if I choose my decode theme the whole theme changes instantly, but if I refresh, it stays as default. But of course, if I hit this save button, it'll save and persist um, that chosen theme. So the main part of this video is going to be the ability to automatically change the theme once you choose a theme right here. But the extra part will be the server side using PHP to actually save the theme um, so it stays next time a page or the page refreshes. Okay, so let's head over to this uh, blank file right here or just this basic file right here. Um, inside my text editor I have this happening. So essentially it's just the index page um, with a default theme loaded. Okay, so one of those three um, loaded. Um, and of course here just the content, so just a paragraph tag and a few, a few more things to make it visually, um, you know, um, visually different between themes, okay? Um, so inside the CSS directory, I have my three themes and they look like this. So default, just really basic styles here. And of course in decode and red, um, there you go. So they just they just have a different color for certain things. And that's basically how the theme is gonna be changed. You're just gonna be um, choosing different CSS files um, based on what you've chosen in the dropdown menu, all right? So let's head inside the index.php uh, file and have a look at what happens or how we can actually achieve the effect of the instant um, change of themes. All right, so um, essentially how it's gonna work is we are going to be changing the href or the source, I guess, um, of the link tag right here. So on drop down selects, once you've chosen your theme, we're gonna go inside here and change the value of this. All right, so how do you do that? Pretty straightforward actually. So let's go inside the um, the content here and begin by actually creating that drop down menu. So we can just say here, we can make a new select um, tag. You know what? I'm going to wrap it inside a form. So we can just say form and then action as being um, this same page. So we're going to submit to the same page by putting dot forward slash here. Um, the method is going to be post. Okay. And that's it for the form. Uh, we can then, of course, just put this select inside of here. Okay. So, um, of course, we're going to list all of our three themes inside this select. So let's give it a name and ID of theme select. And inside here, we can list uh, three options. So we can say option with a value of default. And the display text will be default right there. And do the same thing for decode and red. Alright. And also, I'm going to add the submit button um, right now so I can just say save theme. But of course, we'll be doing all the saving stuff later on. So I can save this and refresh the page, and we now have this right here. Okay, um, so cool. And we can now begin on the JavaScript to, of course, uh, modify or change the source or href of the link tag as we choose a different um, theme. So inside the JavaScript, let's first get a reference to both the theme select and also the link tag up here. So um, let's give this an ID such as um, theme style sheets. Alright, so now I can just go inside the JavaScript and quite easily say const uh, theme select equal to document dot get element by ID. I'm going to pass inside here, of course, uh, theme select, which matches up with um, the ID passed in here. Okay, and do the same thing for the theme style sheet. Alright, cool. So now we have these two set up. We can now begin working with them. So down here, I can say theme select dot add event listener. We're going to listen for the change event. Okay, so we're going to say change as the first argument here. So when um, when a new theme is selected, 
okay this function is going to fire off so just to give you some context I'm going to console.dir so that basically just means um, list an object in more detail I'm going to pass this into there so now we're going to save this and refresh the page we're going to choose um, a theme and then see what happens in the console so I can save this and refresh and choose a theme and we get here select theme select so um, this means that the this keyword in JavaScript inside that function refers to the theme select element and if I scroll down to the bottom here it has a value called decode okay so if I was to now go back in here and choose red the new console log output if I scroll down we get value of red so essentially we're gonna say this dot value to get the selected theme and then insert that into the href of the link tag alright so pretty straightforward um, let's go back inside the uh, HTML or the PHP for this and we can simply say uh, theme style sheet so now referencing the style sheet link tag we can say dot set attribute we're gonna set the um, the href attribute okay to be CSS forward slash and then we're gonna insert um, this dot value and then plus dot CSS okay so I can save this and refresh the browser and choose decode and it changes right there so if we go inside the elements section here of the developer tools and expand the head tag we should be able to see this changing as we go along so if I was to uh, change this to uh, red I can see here that the href has been updated to be css forward slash red dot css so um, it's pretty straightforward how it works okay so that is all you need to of course create this effect um, but for actual saving of the theme of course it's going to change depending on um, what server side you are using and of course there's many ways to do this you can actually go ahead and of course save your theme in the database you can say certain users have different themes and all this stuff but I'm going to show a simple example a simple demonstration of how to do it in PHP um, right now so back inside um, the PHP file um, let's write some PHP up here so before the page has been you know has uh, would start rendering we can put some PHP okay and we can basically define two main functions um, to uh, get the theme so get the currently selected theme and also set the theme okay so those two main functions so I can go up here make a function called get theme okay this will take in no arguments and of course it's going to simply get the theme so to store the theme to store the saved theme I'm going to use a pretty plain text file so I'm going to say return here I'm going to return and then say trim and then say file get contents and pass in here selected theme dot txt so essentially what we're doing here is we're gonna read the contents of this selected theme dot txt file um, which I'll create down here right now so I'm gonna say selected theme dot txt right here and inside here I'm gonna say default and hit save okay so now the selected theme is currently default so basically this will get the string default from this file and then trim it and trim basically removes any white space so here I've got some white space I've got two lines that's one that's one return so one one extra line um, after the default so trim's gonna remove that okay and make it a pretty clean string so now we're just gonna return default from this theme sorry from this get theme function and yeah it's gonna return whatever's inside this file right here if I put DOM inside here of course get theme's gonna return DOM alright so that's uh, that's all set up we can now uh, make a new function called set theme to of course set the new theme and this will take in the theme name so for example default decode or red okay it's gonna work in a very similar fashion it's gonna be file put contents once again to the selected theme.txt file and we're going to pass in here the theme so basically we're going to change the contents of the selected theme.txt file to be 
whatever you pass in to that. So if I say set theme and pass into here, let's just say JavaScript, all right, and I save this and I refresh the page, okay, go back inside my editor, in this file, we now get JavaScript. So that's how it's going to work, right? Um, so yeah, so now um, we can go down here and we can basically say, if you have submitted that form, then set the theme. So we're going to say if, you know what, let's let's go back a few steps and actually um, work on getting the theme first. Sorry guys, so let's actually go ahead and insert the currently selected theme inside the link tag when the page loads up. Okay, so inside here, let's change default inside here to be the output or the return value of this get theme function. So we're going to use the PHP shorthand output. So that's uh, opening, um, opening. Uh, we call it crocodile, less than, uh, less than symbol, uh, dollar sign equals, and we can just say get theme and close it off just like that. So now we're going to see CSS and then default.css or JavaScript.css. So let's just change this back to default. Okay, so we'll now get default.css inside the theme or link tag. If I can save this and refresh, of course we get default here. If I change this to be uh, red, press save, refresh, we get red right there. All right, so um, let's go back inside here now and do that thing where we're going to be setting the thing. Okay, so we're going to say if is set post theme select. This just means have I submitted this theme select. Um, drop down. If that's the case, okay, we're going to say set theme and then post theme select. All right, we can save this, refresh. Okay, I'm going to choose decode, press save, and it saves. All right, so working, it's working fine. However, um, obviously down here we can see that. Um, I've currently selected decode, but the drop down begins on default no matter what. So we're going to add some code to, of course, make it so if you've chosen decode, then this is decode um, by default. Okay, so let's go inside the editor once again and scroll down to this section here. And basically, um, to make a option selected when the page loads up, you simply add the selected attribute. So if I say selected on the red and then refresh the page, red is selected by default. But that's how it works, right? So basically we're going to output this selected attribute depending on if the current theme is what's inside here. So for each one of these options, I'm going to put some PHP and we're going to say if get theme is equal to default, then say selected otherwise do nothing. So here we are saying if the theme is default then output selected otherwise don't do anything. I'm going to copy this and paste it for each one of these options. So you can say decode here and red here and just watch out for um, your syntax here. I've got uh, the dollar sign then the two uh, closing uh, greater than sign, so to watch out and just make sure that your syntax is uh, basically just like this, okay? So now I can save this and refresh and now we should see decode here as the selected theme. If I was to change this to default, um, press save and now of course it's all working just fine. Alright, so there's one more thing we need to do to make it a bit more secure. And that is, well, um, if I go inside here and I change the value of one of these options, so inside my dev tools, if I say default and change this to be something like JavaScript, just like before, and then choose default, and then press save theme, we get this. So currently, my theme is JavaScript, right? So that was submitted very easily. So um, it may be the case that your user is malicious and wants to add some some uh, some code to potentially destroy your website inside these value attributes. Um, it may not be the case, but um, it's more for good measure. So um, 
we want to actually make it so you can only choose certain themes or only pass certain values to be um, as the value of this theme select. Alright, so back inside the text editor, let's go up the top here to the PHP once again and make a new array called available themes equal to an array of available themes. So we can say default decode and then red and now we're going to say inside this condition we're going to say if the post sorry if we have submitted theme select uh, select drop down and also in array post theme select available theme. So we're saying if the theme select value is inside one of these or inside this array so if it's one of these values then we can set the theme otherwise don't do anything all right so now I can save this I can refresh we still get JavaScript as the theme in the top here of course because that is our now currently selected theme let's go back inside here and actually change this to be default so back to normal okay I can save this and refresh we get default there um, and now if I was to try and once again go inside here and of course uh, change the value of default to be JavaScript once again and press save it works just fine so that prevents any sort of uh, malicious code or malicious uh, text being submitted to your server by the end user and that is how you can create a dynamic theme selector using HTML CSS and JavaScript and also some PHP alright uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you later